In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the 3D slideshow effect or you can say 3D photo gallery effect like this. Well, in After Effects, you have seen several times this kind of effects, but here I'm going to show you how to make it in HitFilm Express. I'm going to show you the complete breakdown. So stay with me and let's begin. So as you can see, we are on HitFilm Express. I have collected some image of animals. So before going to make the complete slideshow, first of all, I'm going to make each separate composite shot for each of the images. Okay, so let's make the composite shot first for the first image. Here I'm going to name it as a cat. And here I'm going to choose the dimension of the composite shot is 1080p by 1080p. And let's keep the duration 10 seconds. So in this composite shot, I'm going to simply drag the image of cat. So here I'm going to make one frame. You simply make a plane layer. Let's rename it as a frame and let's change the color to white. Okay, now we go to the rectangular mask and you draw a mask here. And uh, under the mask property, you simply invert the mask so that it looks like a complete frame of the image. Okay. Now in the same way, you have to make the composite shot for the other images also. So again, you uh, make a separate composite shot. Let's rename it as a elephant because this composite shot is going to be for the elephant. You drag the image of elephant. Let's draw a frame here. Exactly in the same way, you have to make the composition for the rest of the images. You can also do one thing simply by duplicating the previous composition. So for example, here I am going to make the composition of the horse. So here, so I will not make the separate composition. I am going to simply duplicate the existing composition. So this is a fox, you can see, press Ctrl D and you can see a new composition of the same uh, fox layer is appearing here. So here I am going to simply rename it as a horse. And you make a double click here and in this particular composition you simply change the image and place the horse image okay so this is also one of the very simple way so now as you can see we have uh, all five different composite shots for, uh, for all the five different animals so now we can move to the animation part so before going to that i'm going to make a new composition again and let's rename it as a final or main composite shot and let's change the dimension to 1920 and in this main composition, I'm going to drag all the compositions of the animals. So this is my cat. This is the elephant. You simply place it over the other. So for now, I'm going to disable the black background. Now the most important thing, you have to make all the layers 3 dimension. So select all the layers and make it 3D. So after making it 3D, you can uh, see all the images in a prospective way. So now I am going to change the position of the images. Now simply go to the top view and here I am going to change the position of all the layers. Now in the perspective view, you can see all the images and they are placed in a random voice. You have to remember one thing, do not change the scale of the images, I mean do not change the sizes of the images. Here I am simply playing with the position of the images, okay? So that's very important. The dimensions of the images are exactly the same, all the images are of the same dimension. So here I am going to play further with the position of the images. So this is basically the top view. The line you can see here, so these are basically the images, okay? All the five images so all the five images are there that so that's why you can see all the five lines so these lines so these are basically not lines these are basically the images because i am because right now i am looking from the top view that's why it looks like a line so don't get confused about it so now i'm going to apply some animation here and let's see how it looks 
Remember to make the animation you have to play only with the camera, not the images. The images are exactly same. There will be no disturbance of the images except uh, the positions. You can manipulate the position of the images but the sizes and panning, zooming all these things should be done with the help of the camera. So that is the important thing. So this is the camera you can see here. Now since everything is 3D now, so I can uh, play with the position property of the camera. So let's activate the keyframe here and at the beginning I am going to simply zoom it. Now I am going to select uh, all uh, both these keyframes and activate manual visual. Just go to value graph and here you can make some smooth animation by playing with the graph. So here you can further play with the uh, position property. So here our animation is, so it is zoom in and then it backs to the normal position. Then for few seconds it should still in the same position. That's why I am going to duplicate this same keyframe. It means the value of this keyframe and this keyframe are exactly same. It means after reaching here for few seconds the animation will still here. And after again for few seconds we are going to make a new animation. So again you change the position and let's see. And here I am focusing the fox images. So as you can see, after applying this keyframing, it looked like this. The animation, panning, zooming, all these things are completely up to you. How you want your animation to be like this. Because now you have a full control of your camera. Again I am going to make a duplicate here. And for a few seconds, let's get back to the original position. You can still change the position of the uh, back images also according to your appearance. It's all about the game of keyframing and nothing else. So here I have shown you only with the five images, you can apply more images and you can have a different movement of your camera. So that's it. It's all about the game of keyframings. Okay. If you found this video helpful, then hit the like button, leave your comments and share it. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. I'll see you in the next video.